A thread by Carlos Osuito. Don't get me wrong, we have a problem, but President Trump is handling it. This outcome was entirely predictable. Michelle Malkin, others assaulted by Antifa at pro-police rally in Denver from Breitbart.com. The Denver police chief is pro-Antifa and BLM. So if you go there, you're going to get attacked. This is a given. And if you try to reason with Antifa and BLM, it's not going to work. The answer isn't counter-protests. Ann. Malkin asks, how can you back the blue when they won't back us? Come on. Obviously, you don't back the blue that won't back you. Cops take an oath to protect us, not their jobs and pensions. Go to red states. Stay out of blue states. They don't even want you there. Let's look at Sri Lanka. The Tamil Tigers of Elam invented modern-day suicide bombing. They created belts and vests and attacked civilians and politicians. This is the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi. The video speaks for itself. Link to the thread in the description. The video is about three minutes long. After a 33-year terror campaign, Sri Lanka had had enough they discovered that leftist countries like Norway were helping the Tamil Tigers get funds and weapons. So it was time for direct action, as Antifa likes to say. Sri Lanka built up its armed forces, got new weapon systems, trained the troops to the level of any Western armed force, went in and totally destroyed the Tamil Tigers. And of course, Leftist Western countries were outraged. This is a Sri Lankan soldier mocking dead terrorists. Everything that the Western press wrote about that 2009 Sri Lankan war is incorrect. The dead were stripped naked to make sure they weren't wearing suicide vests. Children were killed because the children were combatants. Other civilians were killed because they were voluntary human shields. The Tamil Tigers had waged a savage campaign of merciless terrorism for over three decades, and then they cried when the Sri Lankans took them at their word and fought the way the Tigers fought. We are ready to die. Okay, here you go. I have no opinion of how the Sri Lankans destroyed the Tamil Tigers once and for all. That's because I was never subjected to a 33-year campaign of savage terrorism that included the massacres of children. The war was fought on the terms of the Tamil Tigers. If people went into northeastern Sri Lanka to give speeches decrying Tamil Tiger terrorism, what would the tigers have done to them? Correct. As of this moment, temporarily, blue cities and states want to secede and become crab holes of lawlessness and failure. Why are you going to these places and then being surprised that the terrorists attack you and the cops don't protect you? These are no longer parts of the United States. Do you go to Mexico to give speeches protesting the actions of the drug cartels? Several times now, young Canadians and Americans have decided to bike or hike through third world war zones to prove that there's no such thing as terrorism or evil, and they're beheaded. This is conceit. Stop being conceited. If BLM and Antifa are burning down cities, why do you expect them not to attack you? Are you special? The fact that you don't understand Trump's strategy isn't his fault. Do you really want the 2009 Sri Lankan war? Leftists do. Stay out of the blue states. 
Let the chaos consume the cities and states. It's temporary. You're making Trump's job harder by expecting Antifa and BLM to not be Antifa and BLM. You already know that the cops won't protect you. This is mindless ritual. Let's say you have your rally and it's peaceful. So what? Have you genuinely accomplished anything? This symbolism must be junked. We've been trapped in cycles of ritual and symbolism for decades. Trump is acting. You can't see it, but I can. People are demanding a ham-fisted response that will backfire. As crazy as things seem, they're being contained. Why is it so hard to put up with leftist death throes? Do you think they'd be doing this if they were winning? Everything they're doing is political suicide. Trump's conservative opponents are as hung up on symbolism as leftists are. Together, they are the yin and yang of futility. Trump knew that he had to tackle the issue with an approach that nobody expected. I've been hearing the same stuff from conservatives for 10 straight years. They failed. So they need to get out of the way and let Trump do things by drawing on his decades of experience. If you go into Central Park alone at night, bad things are going to happen to you. Stay out of blue cities and states as they commit suicide. The suicide has to happen. So, back the blue in the states where the blue does its job.